Between you and I right now, all American superstars have so much respect for Nigerian musicians. All of them, all. See, when Bonaboy enter America now, eh? <laughs> no, 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 this year. When Bonaboy, even when he's just sitting on the news platform, you understand? The kind of aura, the kind of aura, you know, as you know, it to be aura, eh? Aura is like a lion walking on the stage fearlessly. You know, that's the, that's the kind of aura Nigerian musicians have in America now. When Bona Boy is walking on the stage, eh? He's not walking as if he's walking in. He's like he's the star. He's not walking as if he has come there to, uh, to see stars. No. Bona Boy walks like he's the star. And even where he's granting interviews. The, the other time when Trevor Noah from South Africa, that one, eh? They are even, I don't want to talk about the sellouts. That one. Make we just live and face. I don't know whether just the fact that in South Africa and I make a break on day way to way day. I don't want to enter that site. Make we just be. But on that interview with Trevor, you could see that Bona Boy was declaring like, like taking charge. You know, Trevor, oh, no, we, we dominate, we take over, we want to be in control. And that's how these guys literally work on every single stage and every single platform. In America, and it's not just Bona Boy. Before now, I go come say, "Oh, why you not say David Do?" Yeah, David Do does the same. I've seen a couple of David Do's interviews on some American radios and televisions and podcasts, and David Do is really, really like so much of a star. Like the aura is there, the presence is there, the guy is so, so there. The same goes with Whiskey Man. Whiskey is the only African artist that an American can call to come and Whiskey will turn it down. Whiskey can turn down Drake. Whiskey can turn down any American artist because the guys are that big. I'm telling you, I was telling my guy the other day, just yesterday, that man, do you know that Whiskey went from uh, from a nobody to winning Grammy Awards in, in just 10 years, less than 10 years? When the guy called the scene, when you see me come around, I got you looking at me. Who knows say the boy go win Grammy? Nobody. But he moved from there to winning the Grammy in less than 10 years. How will he not have aura? How will he not move around and gallivant himself like a lion? That is it. Because the guys, have, they deserve it. And there is no African artist. There is no country in Africa that their musician can do this. There is no Ghanaian musician who will enter America and, and walk around. With a chest and shoulder up. No Ghanaian musician will do that. No Ghanaian Name it if you want to. Even the collab way Beyonce do with Shatawale. We don't know where it end. You understand? And I was telling the other guy. You see, if Whiskey did not sing in that Beyonce album. That, that she did with Africans. If Whiskey did not sing in that album. Many people would think that the entire album was whack. Because that's the only song that saved African musicians. Brown Skin Girl is the only song that saved African musicians in that. Uh, at least the song did great, went on to winning Grammys and all of that. So, because of all of this, you realize that Nigerian musicians need no introduction in America. When Davido goes to watch NBA matches, he sits on the crowd and they post him on the poster of Davido, Nigerian music star. When NBA is making performance award, they call Nigerians, they come and perform. On NBA. Guy, you have to respect these Nigerians. Oh. You have to respect them. If, if America, where all of us, they respect, they respect Nigeria, then who you be? Now, what we'll ask Ghanaian, Cameroon, any other person? No, the Americans and the Europeans, where you, they respect. They themselves, they respect Nigeria. Then you, can they do nye, 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 you, they talk anyhow. Your mumu no too much. Your mumu no too much. You supposed to think I like that. You get the point. So you can recently discover that Nigerian musicians, a lot of the top guys, the video whiskey bona boy, they have turned America into their normal regular home where they can step in and have dinner with Rick uh, with Rick Ross. American night like, bona boy can just step in. And, and you see him walk and have dinner with DJ Khaled. You know, Bona Boy will just go to DJ Khaled. They go come take one. They go come Shayo together. Take something. Hide something. You know as they be now. Eh? It not, not like, that's, man, that is, that is so big. 
that we are neglecting. American superstars do they respect Nigerian star, but Africans they, they they you know Africans we are not we we don't. It's like we have not woken up to realize the standards where Nigerians are. We have not woken up. Look at Rema. Rema will be flexing around with uh, Selena Gomez. Re Rema, oh, small boy, Rema, be flexing around with, with Gomez. You will, you will not. It go call the whole lamb. Some, some people go even say they are dating. Rema, oh. Ha. Now, I don't know it when they talk, oh. Oh, Africans, we need to really, really wake up. You understand? Before, when Nigerian musicians went for, for BET Awards, they never, they, they beat, the first BET Awards, David won. they gave him at the back, at the backstage. David O never entered the hall. I mean, that means they didn't even present the award. They just go behind and give him, that's your award. May they try that thing now. Now, David is sitting on the front row on the Grammys. Nigerian musicians are performing on the BET Award. On performing. Before, when I was growing up, eh, when BET Award finished like this, eh, I will go online, look for BET. I mean, we will we, we buy the video and watch and dream. See Kendrick Lamar performing. See Chris Brown. See all those. It will be like... But that's what Nigerians are living today, man. It's their reality. And we don't want to give them the respect. <laughs> we got to learn honestly we got to learn when you respect people eh, and humble yourself eh, god self go elevate you that's life that's how it goes that's how it's supposed to be so i think africans need to start respecting them the way american stars are respecting these nigerian guys they are doing a lot of work for all of us africans the recognition doesn't limit to nigeria any african musician now can do it because nigerians have opened the door it is what it is. Your boy Aj Maxi on this one again. And I hope you enjoy watching this video. Smash that like button, smash the notification bell, and come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing content just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese!